Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. Today is August 24, 2022, and this is episode 538. Today we're looking at the movie Prey, the latest in the Predator uh, series of films. And this is a recommend. I really liked the first half quite a bit. The second half, not so much. And we'll go into that in a little bit. But uh, the one thing I did love about this was just the overall scenery. Just beautifully, I think it was shot in uh, Alberta, Canada. Just really, really lovely up there. Um, and the first part of the movie, we get a lot of uh, Indian life and that and whatnot. Now, when the, pre when the Predator does make its uh, debut within the, the movie, things start to change. A little... Um, and it gets a little bit overboard. Now, I have the same com same complaint about The Reverend, if you've seen that, with Leonardo DiCaprio, and he has to face off against Tom Hardy. I mean, Tom Hardy looks, like, a lot stronger than Leonardo DiCaprio, yet uh, Leonardo goes through this whole bit about um, taking out all these these men and fighting these all these creatures and whatnot and and not getting hyperthermia while he's dipped in the water and freezing temperatures and then he's able to take down tom hardy who has not had to go with 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 any of those this is the same thing we got this girl here who suddenly has got this one pound axe that's able to take out like a like a squadron of hunters um french hunters and then she takes on the uh the predator with her with her brother as well now they could have gone with this and made this a fantastic film if they would have played to her weaknesses rather than this perceived strength um let's start it over here for instance if they would have had her using her skills as tracker and uh also just escaping danger um, so they could have had her lead lead the Predator by accident into a, a war party that gets wiped out and she realizes the strength of this thing. And then it's still following her because she shot an arrow at it earlier or something. Um, and then she realizes she's leading it right to her village and she has to lead it away somehow. And then come up with some cool way to uh, trap him and, and uh, take him down somehow. Um, this way... What we see in this movie is not nearly as, as in believable. It's not believable at all. She just looks small. She's very small. And she's throwing a one-pound axe um, that does this incredible amount of damage every time it hits. So, yeah, it's a recommend because I think it's better than a lot of the other Predator movies besides the first two. But um, and the scenery in it's just gorgeous. But uh, you have to just, you have to, um, what they call it, kind of <laughs> not believe what could really happen, happen. This is Indie Comics Jones from the Temple of Tomes. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't. Please leave comments. Don't let me be a secret. And we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. Temple of Tomes, I bid you adieu.